Hi everyone, I'm here to break down your uh, assignment for how to create your group presentation. Hopefully by uh, reading your step-by-step -step guideline on how to create your group presentation and listening to this um, mini lecture from me, you will have a clear understanding on how to start with your group presentation project. All right, so first thing first, um, you are going to be grouped by your professor, which is by me, uh, and each group will have five people. And I will assign a type of media that you can work on with your group members. So for instance, uh, the first group will be assigned uh, to work on a movie. And so you will, uh, as a group, you're going to determine an issue based on the media that you're assigned. So, for instance, if you are going to work on an issue on a, about a movie, you can talk about um, how um, certain race representations started to be more present um, in the media in uh, after 2010, for instance, or you can talk about so. You can talk about race issue, you can talk about gender representation. So maybe you would like to focus on how um, female characters are portrayed in the 1980s and the 1990s versus uh, in the 2000s. Are there any um, differences in the role that they're taking? Um, and you can talk about how, for instance, if you're going to talk about race issue, you can talk about how colored people are portrayed um, in the movies in 1980s versus 1990s or versus 2000. Or you can even go back as far as in the 1930s to 1940s and 1950s. Whatever it is, the issues that you're going to tackle, please make sure that you, you're using a media history approach on looking at this certain issue. So you can have this intersection between um, race, class, gender, um, from this historical perspective in looking at certain media. Now that you have decided on that one, you will then decide on the role that you will cover for the presentation. So since there are five of you in one group, one person will tackle the introduction, another will discuss the first part of the presentation or first body of the presentation, the, second, the third one will cover the second part of the body of the presentation, the fourth will cover the third part of the body, and then the fifth member can cover the conclusion. If by any chance your group only have four people, then make sure that um, there is one that's going to cover introduction to people covering the body of the presentation and one person is going to cover the conclusion. Your professor is going to, which is me, is going to set a discussion forum for each group and you can use your group discussion forum to discuss about your topic and determine the role that you will take in the group. So in other words, um, please make sure that you communicate with each other and make a clear, um, what is it, distinction on what role you're going to tackle for these assignments. And once you have made uh, the decision on what the topic is, uh, what issue you're going to tackle, how you're going to approach this, who are going to uh, cover what, you will create individually a mini presentation that is going to be around between four to six minutes using screencast o -Matic. I have created a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a presentation using screencast o -Matic so that you can show your slides as well as your face while you're giving your presentations. And when you have done that, you will post a link to the mini presentation on two separate locations. One is your assignment folder on Canvas. I need that there so that both Ashley and I can grade you. And then seconds, you're gonna post it on your discussion forum uh, that I'm going to set up on Canvas. So the date when you're going to post the video must be uh, based on the deadline set by your professor, which is set by me. So on, for instance, April 13, there are going to be two groups who are going to present. That means there are going to be 10 people who are going to post their um, discussion, uh, sorry, their presentation video. And when you have uh, posted your video, um, Please make sure that, sorry, in your each of your video, you state clearly what part of the presentation you're covering. For example, you say 
uh, in this presentation, I will present the inter introduction part of our group one presentation. And this is a presentation on um, the history of, what is it, for instance, black representation in Hollywood movies or something like that. Now, once you have posted your link on the assignment folder and on the discussion forum, please make sure that you comment and provide feedback on or questions to the other group videos that you're paired with. What I meant by that is that um, every day on, um, not every day, on each distinctive day, there are going to be two groups who are presenting, like what I say. So if you're group one, then please make sure that you comment on the presentation videos presented by group two because I want um, every one of you to get feedback on your presentation. Uh, Ashley and I, of course, will also provide um, individual feedback to each one of your video and, um, you know, giving you detailed comments um, and or questions that we have. But in addition to our comments and our feedbacks, I want each one of you to actually commenting on each other's video so that um, you feel like you're being seen, you feel like your work is not going to waste, but you know, other people are watching it and uh, appreciating what you're what you have been doing. And fourth, when you have any questions about this assignment, please do not hesitate to ask me or um, email Ashley uh, to make sure that you meet the assignment uh, expectation. And do attend our office hours. It's a good uh, opportunity for you to not only discuss with us your concerns, questions. Uh, for the whole course in general, or ask specific questions about specific assignment like this one, for instance. So I hope this video is helping you clarify what it is that we're expecting you to do. Uh, please understand uh, that this is not by all means uh, something that's going to make your life more miserable. Instead, this is something, it's supposed to be a project that you enjoy doing about specific media, using a specific issue um, at a specific, a specific time frame um, that you choose. So there's a lot of, um, what is it, freedom that you can utilize to actually uh, create this project and make it as fun as possible. We really want to, you to combine um, your passion about the media as well as the history um, that we have covered the whole semester and actually showcase us um, what is it that you want us to uh, hear from you, what is a part of the media history that you find exciting. So um, I'm going to wish you the best of luck and I hope you and your group members can work together well and collaborate to create a topic that you will be proud of that you can individually make a great, um, what is it, video that together combine with other parts of the groups um, who are working on this presentation can tell a great story about a specific media and its history. Thank you so much.